السلام علیکم ٹو مارکس ویری امپورٹنٹ کوشچن اینڈ آنسرس ان ایچ اے پی ٹو سی ایئر دیز آر دا ویری امپورٹنٹ کوشچن پریکٹس اونلی دیز آر لمیٹڈ کوشچنس ان ایچ اے پی ٹو لیٹ اسٹارٹ دیٹ ٹو مارکس فسٹ وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ ٹو مارکس ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ کوشچنس دا فسٹ کوشچن از گیو دا فنکشنس آف وینٹریکلس آف دا برین سی وینٹریکلس آف دا برین مینلی دے آر ہالو دے آر سول فنکشن از ٹو پروڈیوس اینڈ سیکریٹ دا سی ایس ایف سیریبرو اسپینل فلوئڈ ٹو پروٹیکٹ اینڈ مینٹین یور سینٹرل نروس سسٹم گوٹ اٹ نیکسٹ نیم دا آرگنس آف ڈائجسٹو سسٹم دیز آرگنس انکلوڈ ماؤت فیرنگ سو ایسو فیگس اسٹمک اسمال انٹسٹائن لارج انٹسٹائن ریکٹم اینڈ دا اینس نیکسٹ تھرڈ ون ڈیفائن نرو امپلس اے نرو امپلس از اے ریلیئنگ آف اے کوڈڈ سگنل فرام اے نرو سیل ٹو این افیکٹ آر مینس اف اینی ڈیمیجز اکر مینس واٹ ایپنس that nerve cell will uh, collect that damage where from the effector and that effector will transfer to the brain means this is a cell to cell communication it means by which uh, see this one it means uh, by which a nerve cell communicates with the another cell this is known as impulse uh, transferring the message then mention the hormone secretion of pancreas mainly c2 hormones are secreted insulin and glucagon okay which are regulate the levels of the glucose in the body and somatostatin what happens if your insulin and glucagon increases at that time this somatostatin releases that helps to prevent this excess of glucose and insulin it will inhibits that yes next next move towards the fifth question define anorexia anorexia is a eating disorder characterized by an abnormally low body weight an intense fear of gaining weight and a distorted per perception of the weight here what happens a person he or she will get fear what happen if my body weight get increases so on that basis so he or she doesn't eat at all okay it is a type of the uh, disease they won't eat at all it is the disease meant is a psychological disease anorexia can give the function of trachea trachea serve as the main pass uh, passway through which air passes from the upper respiratory tract to the lungs very important then what is uh, exocrine and endocrine gland exocrine uh, gland here what happens they are duct glands secret hormones uh, with the ducts exocrine means what happens they secret hormones uh, through duct drug uh, sorry ducts endocrine means uh, without any duct example you can give for endocrine glands uh, like your uh, all the pituitary hormones okay gonadotropic hormone pituitary hormones is there no 6 to 7 hormones are there no somatotropic releasing hormone growth hormone thyroid stimulating hormone these all are the pineal gland secrete the hormone no these all are the endocrine glands which out without they will secrete into the blood without any ducts uh, okay then define fertilization and electro uh, physiology the process of combining the male gametes with the female that is known as fertilization then electrophysiology means is the branch of physiology that studies the electrical properties of the biological cells and tissues next one difference between the afferent and efferent neurons or nerves afferent neurons carry information from sensory receptor of the skin and other organs to the central nervous system brain as spinal cord whereas efferent what they will do they will send the information away from the central nervous system to the muscles here towards the central nervous system is uh, afferent uh, towards 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 is known as afferent away is known as efferent okay just understand this then uh, write the function of csf csf assess the brain by providing protection nourishment and waste removal csf that is cerebro spinal fluid provides uh, hydromechanical protection of the neuro axis through two mechanism first is the cf act as a shock absorber then cushioning the brain again is the skull cushion it gives a cushion like protection then uh, define uh, define uh, uh, diabetes insipidus what is this uh, diabetes insipidus uh, and uh, uh, diabetes insipidus and few chroma chromocytomas see our hormone secreting tumor that can occur in the adrenal gland uh, that uh, means that is this type of disease is known as a pheochromo pheochromocytoma okay the hormone which uh, secretes the tumor or which leads to the tumor that occurs in the adrenal gland pheo then pheochromocytoma usually develop in the small glands on the top of the kidneys that is adrenal gland then the disorder of salt and water metabolism marked by the intense thirst and heavy urination 
that is diabetes insipidus occurs when the body can't regulate how it handles fluids means here only the retention is not happening properly okay excess of water and salt excreted intense thirst these all are the symptoms of the diabetes insipidus next write the divisions of the nervous system central nervous system and peripheral nervous system two divisions define constipation and diarrhea what is this constipation constipation is the is when bowel movements are not frequent okay frequent hard paced that is constipation diarrhea means on other hand in which the stools are loose and watery okay diarrhea mention the different methods of artificial artificial respiration these all are the different methods that is crap humidifiers chest compression oxygen delivery nebulizers oxygen regulator cpr pocket marks cpr devices these all the artificial medications or artificial methods for the respiration next let's move 15 question list out the org organs involved in the urinary system organs like kidneys renal pelvis ureters bladder and urethra then write the function of thymus gland thymus gland mainly contains the wbc means t lymphocytes white blood cell lymphocytes travel from your bone marrow to your thymus the lymphocytes mature and become specialized t cells in your thymus mainly t cells helps to uh, increase the immune cells immune cells increase means it can fight against the foreign particles or any type of the diseases write the function of a stomach temporary store food contract and uh, relax to mix and break down food and produce enzymes and other specialized cell to digest food write the structure and functions of sperm the purpose of a sperm is to release during sexual intercourse and to eventually meet with the ovum which is produced by the biological female body ovum it is produced by the female and the uh, main function of the sperm water that helps to contact with that uh, ovum to form a to uh, condense the fertilization and if one more thing you have to draw here a, a sperm diagram okay sperm diagram next right the, next one is write the functions of a mouth see mouth is an important part it helpful for the speech and communication eating and digestion also used for breathing then next define internal external respiration internal respiration involves gases exchange between the blood stream and the blood stream tissues and cellular respiration here say external means uh, air breath uh, means exchange of gases between the alveoli and the blood stream okay easy one then explain extra pyramidal tract what is this extra pyramidal uh, extra extra pyramid pyramidal tract originate in the brain stem carry motor fibers to the spinal cord they are responsible for the unconscious reflex or the response to control of the musculature example muscle tone balance posture and locomotion mean this one then write the functions of pineal gland the main function of pineal gland is to receive and convey information about the current light dark cycle from the environment and uh, consequently produce and secrete melatonin uh, clinically at night means main function of the pineal gland is uh, to uh, brightness for the skin okay skin color mainly is depend on the this pineal gland the next one is a define a define a liver cirrhosis cirrhosis is a scarring means fibrosis of the liver caused by the long term liver damage the scar tissue prevents the liver working properly cirrhosis is sometimes called end stage liver cancer then what is hepatitis it is a inflammation of the liver alcohol consumption several health condition and some medications can cause this condition then draw neat label diagram of a neuron see this one is the neuron diagram draw this you will get two marks next different lung volumes four standard volumes are there that is a tv tidal volume inspiratory reserve volume expiratory reserve volume residual volume function of small intestine small intestine three parts here duodenum jejunum and ileum it helps to further digest food coming from the stomach it absorb nutrients like vitamins uh, uh, minerals carbohydrates fats proteins and water from a food so they can be used by the body explain seminiferous tubules seminiferous tubules are the coiled thread like tubules that made up of bulk of the testes and are lined with the linear layer of the epithelial cells from which the spermatozoa are produced okay these are the coiled ones coiled one structures coiled one structure bulk of the testes and they are lined by the which tissue epithelial cell tissue or the epithelial cells from which the spermatozoa are produced 
write about the movement of large intestine the large intestine is divided into colon and rectum and shows three types of the movements rhythmic scanning waves of the contraction originating at the anal end of the large bowel then rhythmic longitudinal contraction the rectum and the colon irregular contraction you just write three one contraction origin first one is a rhythmic extending then a rhythmic longitudinal contraction in the rectum and colon the last one is irregular contraction there these are the three movements of the large intestine if you follow these 28 questions me definitely it's enough for your examination thank you assalamu alaikum